from gigantic marine reptiles to a whale that challenged Megalodon. Here are 14 of the largest prehistoric sea monsters. Julia Welch writing in to let us know that some of our videos inspire her bucket list. Her comment is a reference to our recent episode about the most amazing sights in national parks. So, we're glad you liked that one, Julia. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this one, too. Let us know what you think about all these prehistoric critters. Cheers! Elasmosaurus. Plesiosaurs were characterized by their extremely long necks, and Elasmosaurus was the biggest of the lot. Fossils initially discovered in Kansas and found in other parts of North America indicate the creatures lived more than 80 million years ago. Weighing an estimated 4,400 pounds and measuring more than 30 feet long, it was thought to prey on fish and would have been a slow swimmer. Some cryptozoologists have noted the resemblance of this creature to the Loch Ness Monster. That's led to some theories that Nessie is actually a long-lost plesiosaur. What do you think? Dunkleostis. Here's a prehistoric fish you wouldn't want to reel in. At 20 feet long, armored, and weighing over a ton, this monster would catch you, not the other way around. And bear in mind, some sources claim the animal is even bigger. Dunkleostis was considered to be a hypercarnivorous apex predator. That means it was at the top of the food chain and had an overwhelming hunger for meat. Hypercarnivores are usually defined as having a diet in excess of 70% meat. But although it was an avowed meat eater, the animal didn't have teeth. Two pairs of plates in its mouth formed a beak-like structure which could exert a powerful bite force. By some estimates, it could be in the range of a crocodile, exerting 8,000 pounds per square inch of pressure on its victim. They lived in the late Devonian period, some 360 million years ago. Basilosaurus. During the 19th century, fossils of this immense animal were so commonly found in the US that they were used for furniture. Considered the ancestor of modern day whales and porpoises, these creatures could attain the size of a small ship at more than 60 feet long. They were known to have a long tail and flippers not unlike seals. Experts have calculated they had a powerful bite force around 3,600 pounds. Their name, Basilosaurus, is Latin for King Lizard, which is a clue that they were initially misidentified as dinosaurs. A complete skeleton wasn't found until 2015. Shastasaurus. These creatures were known as fish lizards, or ichthyosaurus, and Shastasaurus was the biggest of the lot, estimated to weigh some 75 tons and measure 69 feet long. That makes it the largest marine reptile yet discovered. Specimens have been found in the US, China, and Canada. Named after Mount Shasta in California, the huge creature favored small marine creatures and soft-bodied cephalopods. Dacosaurus. At around 16 feet long, or 5 meters, this is one of the smaller predators on the list. This one lived from the late Jurassic to the early Cretaceous, and was known for its sharp, serrated teeth. Although resembling crocodilians, it had an unusually streamlined body with a triangular head, and a fin tail that would have made it an excellent swimmer. The shape of their teeth indicates they would have torn chunks of flesh off of their prey, and that suggests the creatures were apex predators. Did you know that due to its unusual physical traits, the press sometimes described it as Godzilla? Cretoxyrena. Here's a prehistoric shark that's not named Megalodon. Although it predated the more famous fish by millions of years, its name isn't as well recognized. While it was smaller, this beast seemed to be no less fearsome. Measuring up to 30 feet long, it had a mouthful of knife-like teeth. In fact, those teeth resemble the utensils so much that it's been nicknamed the Ginsu knife, a reference to the Ginsu knives that were said to cut through metal cans. This animal's teeth had a thick coating of enamel that allowed it to slice through shell or bones as easily as flesh. In its time during the late Cretaceous period, it was one of the deadliest predators in the water. Thaladoarchan. This one is a fairly recent discovery, with fossils found in Nevada in 2010. Alive during the Middle Triassic, experts think it could have been among the first marine predators capable of devouring prey close to its own size. That suggests it was one of the first marine reptiles to have been an apex predator. The extinct genus of Ichthyosaur measured around 28 feet long and lived around 244 million years ago. Thalassimodon. Translated from the Greek, their name means sea lord. They were a genus of plesiosaurs that could reach lengths of almost 40 feet. The massive predators were able to efficiently navigate deep waters thanks to their flippers, each of which measured nearly 7 feet long. They were a top predator during the late Cretaceous and were found in North America. Kronosaurus Named after Kronos, the leader of the Greek titans, this carnivorous animal was a short-necked pliosaur that lived during the early Cretaceous. It was one of the largest of its kind at more than 30 feet long, with a weight estimated at 11 metric tons. The marine reptile had four flippers, a short neck, and an elongated head. That head, which measured some 9 feet long, had a mouth full of teeth that measured up to 11 inches long, more than enough to shred its prey, which included turtles and plesiosaurs. Living until around 99 million years ago, their fossils have been found in Australia and Colombia. 
Mauisaurus. Living until some 69 million years ago during the late Cretaceous period, fossil evidence of these creatures has been found in New Zealand. It had a long, slender body with an overall length of some 26 feet. With 68 cervical vertebrae, it had one of the longest necks of any plesiosaur. That's as measured by number of vertebrae. Two sets of large flippers allowed it to swim at high speeds to catch prey like fish or squid in its jagged teeth. The flippers may also have been used to swim onto shorelines for brief periods. Did you know its name comes from the Maori demigod Maui? who is said to have pulled the islands of New Zealand up from the seafloor by using a fishhook. Leoplerodon, identified as pliosaurs, these carnivorous marine reptiles lived during the middle to late Jurassic. In its time, it would have been an apex predator in the waters that covered present-day Europe. Growing more than 20 feet long, the animal's skull accounted for about one-fifth of that length. Researchers think that might account for the beast being able to use its nostrils to detect the source of certain smells in its environment. That would have been a useful trait, since the critter seemed capable of propelling itself at high speeds in the water, suggesting that it could have been an ambush predator. Tylosaurus This species of mosasaur was closely related to present-day snakes and monitor lizards. The large marine lizards could reach lengths of close to 50 feet, and were distinguished by their long, cylindrical snout. Experts speculate that it may have been used for purposes of self-defense and or combat to stun prey. Its long, eel-like body was built for speed and agility. The animal could cruise at a steady rate, then shoot forward in a quick burst of speed to overtake prey. It generally favored a wide range of prey, from marine reptiles to sharks to flightless birds. They were dominant predators in the waters of North America during the late Cretaceous, around 75 million years ago. Mosasaurus. Here's a critter whose name has become a lot more familiar in recent years. The huge, carnivorous marine lizard lived during the late Cretaceous around 66 million years ago. Growing nearly 60 feet long, the beast could weigh an estimated 30,000 pounds. Their massive conical teeth clamped into prey that ranged from sharks to dinosaurs of the time. Their fossils have been found across much of the globe, with experts saying they could exist in saltwater or freshwater habitats. Did you know these creatures are thought to be related to present-day lizards like the Komodo dragon? our number one scary critter is just ahead. First, here's an honorable mention, Megalodon. And we have a name that's no doubt synonymous with prehistoric deep sea predator. Megalodon has to be included on this kind of list. But the humongous ancient fish gets a fair amount of publicity from epic wildlife, so we don't want to overexpose the beast. Still, it must be mentioned that Megalodon was about as long as a school bus. With lengths estimated to exceed some 60 feet, we're not sure if the beast in the picture is meant to be Megalodon, or if it's meant to represent a kayaker's worst nightmare. While the animal had jaws more than 6.5 feet across, it couldn't necessarily swallow one of those vessels whole, but it could have devoured a human in one bite. And researchers say they had one of the most powerful bite forces of all time. In their time, they were thought to have hunted down whales. They resembled a much larger version of today's great white shark, and were wide-ranging creatures. Their fossils have been found around the world. Livyatin melvilli. Recall that we just mentioned how Megalodon hunted whales when it swam across the oceans. This is one of the whales it could have encountered millions of years ago, and it would have provided a big challenge for that big shark. Livyatin melvilli was named for Leviathan, the sea monster in the Bible, and for Herman Melville, the author of Moby Dick. The marine mammals were similar in size to today's sperm whales, measuring close to 60 feet long. Maybe more impressive was the size of their teeth. At 14 inches long, they're among the largest teeth of any animal yet discovered. Along with Megalodon, it was an apex predator that roamed the same waters and hunted the same prey as its rival, which included other whales. So which one would win in a battle of these prehistoric super predators? 